can get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. We are here, and as always, we are back to do another reaction to Ambrosia, How Much I Feel. And you know what I feel today? I feel good because I can't do that without the crew. My man, Hollywood DA, what's going on, brother? No, but so I'm ready to... Uh... Watch along with this joint, see what these cats can do. I like the uh, first song we did. I forgot the name of it already. But, Biggest uh, part of me. Yeah, yeah. So they can sing. So really excited to, to get into this one. Same here, man. And as always, Phenom 202. But say you. Phenom 202, DJ representative. Yo, Ambrosia. That's all we need to say, yo. The sweet <laughs> sounds of Ambrosia, yo. Let's get it. <laughs> Yeah, man. We are about to react to How Much I Feel. This song came out in 1978. Uh, the song was written by the band's uh, guitarist and vocalist. So I guess the guy that's going to be singing it mostly, David Pack, and it was released in the summer of 1978, uh, the lead single from their third album. So, man, I'm really excited to get into this. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. You guys ready? Yeah, man. Sure. All right, man, let's do it in three, two, one, go. Started of you thinking that I had been untrue. So smooth, man. But if you think that we'd be better parted, it's gonna hurt me, but I break away from you. Like that part. Yeah. How's your life been going 
on I got a wife now Years we've been growing strong Yo, Whew. come on, man. Uh, Ambrosia. That, go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, Phenom. Yo, they, I love their sound, man. Yeah. No lie, yo. That that song, th- look, that's, that is written so well. Yeah. And you can feel everything this brother's singing, everything this brother is feeling through the word, because literally what he's saying is, that's how much I feel for you. And he is describing everything, almost like life chapters on how much he was in love with her, how much he feel for her, how much he can't live without her. And then he gets to the end. And when they done moved on, he got a wife now. This is the part that get me, though. This is the <laughs> verse. He said, I got a wife now. Years we've been going strong. There's just something I got to say. Sometimes when we make love, I still see your face, yo. Come on, yo. Yo, oh, oh that's woo, that's crazy. I don't know, dog. I don't know, dog. Digging, <laughs> digging back in the in the spank bank. <laughs> yes, happen, I, I love this sound, man. Yeah, love it. I, this song I, is just amazing. What you think, oh? I mean, it was good. It was good. Um, I mean, maybe it's because you know I'm a little under the weather. I mean, it, it might have been a little too smooth for me. It was like, what? Yeah, it yeah. I mean, it's a good song, though. Like, I like the words of the song, but yeah, it was, it was, it was it might have been a little too laid back for me. Yeah, I, I like it's clear I mean, because though. you under the weather. Yeah, yeah got need, that hook some, is crazy, yo. I need something to wake me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, nah, yeah. yeah. Nah, it ain't waking me up. That hook ain't waking me up, though. Oh, you crazy, yo. You crazy. Yeah. All right, so I got a question for y'all, yo. So, this song is about you know spending the block. Back in your memory and all that stuff, you know, spinning mm-hmm. back in time, that 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 one that possibly got away or you're not over with. Yeah. What do you think is better? I wish I never met her. Mm. Or Neo, oh. have you ever? If I have you. Uh, yeah, that uh, one song. Do you, you ever? Do yeah. You, do you think yeah. of me? So this this is a a, a genre of song, yo, yeah. where you know Bama's done moved on to wives and kids and all that stuff, and mm-hmm. still circling back to that one that got away. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really what this is about. Uh, that's that's a tough one because it's sometimes you've heard people say that expression. Sometimes to have better loved than to never loved at all, or love to have so it'd be better to have loved than lost than to never loved at all. So you've always heard that expression. And that's what this guy's kind of singing about. He's like, I would have loved you 10 times over just the fact of being in love with you. Now, of course, I've moved on, but I've loved you so much that I still can't stop thinking about you. I, I don't know, man. That's a tough one, but that's real. This that's a real thing. That's a real thing, man. So I I think um, you know me me personally I would probably just wish I never met him. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Thomas, uh, uh, we'll see you. Yeah, yeah, do the call time. Wish I never met him. Yo. <laughs> I'll be cool. I mean, if it's this strong, I, nah, I'm good. Like if it's strong, so strong. You fucking your wife and still looking at her like you got her pictures up in those. <laughs> you like turn over, baby, and just. Put a little picture, a little stand up on the on the on the ass, like so you can look at her and not like that's a little too much. So yeah, that is. Like, if it's turning the lights off, so you can just imagine the other woman. Yeah, yeah if it's going that far, then it's too much. Yo. I, I I'll just be good if I just never met you. Yeah, that's just crazy, yo. Uh, it, I mean, what about you, Fido? I thought that's that's the song is. 
beautiful, great song. It is. That was the first time I ever heard the lyrics, and you read the lyrics, and mm-hmm. the song is creepy as shit, yo. Um, <laughs> good song, but the content is like, it, I got a different light when I look at it, yo. Mm-hmm. Well, so. yeah, I mean, I don't think the song is creepy. I think it's a natural. I mean, uh, it does happen. A whole lot. A whole lot of people. You yeah, know what I mean? It yeah, happens, yeah. man. Like some people have a hard time letting go. Now, I, I think people eventually do let go. But there's some people, it take three, four, five, sometimes years after, some even longer than that to get over uh, their, their breakup, you know? So, um I'm going in my nerd box a little bit, but George Lucas has been married and divorced. He's married again. But the woman that divorced George, she's not with him anymore. She still says to this day that she is still in love with George Lucas. Like she has never gotten over. She's in love with the billions. She's in love with the billions. That's Yo, you see what George Lucas look like? She's in love with the billions. That's all. That's about it. That Star Wars yeah. came out. She said, "Oh, you should do." She got a bunch of phone calls. It was like, "You fucked up. You know you know fucked up, right?" Like that's what that is. <laughs> she won't ride with him when her, when that money was low, yo. Mm-hmm. Well, to in all fairness, they did I not divorce until it. after Return of the Jedi. But oh, you know, I, but I <laughs> either way, yeah. I mean, it's well, more like some uh some Ghost and Tasha shit, yo. Ghost Tasha and Angela type scenario, yo. Oh, like in a uh, uh, like in power, power, yo, because Ghost was all happy, married, kids, penthouse, doing all this stuff. Up and then shorty exactly. come back into the life, yo, and he's like, forget the family. That's exactly know, what it was you know like. It was like Ghost and uh, uh, Angela, yeah. Angela with Tasha. Yeah, he couldn't, he couldn't get over the life he thought he had. And Tasha was great. She thought. was holding down, carrying yeah, the two, breaking down yo, the bricks. But uh, and then he's like, yo, I, and he couldn't get Angela out of his head though. Yeah, yeah I mean, crazy, well, I like Angela personally. I, I like I, Angela I, a lot. I hate it. You didn't like Angela? <laughs> I didn't think she looked good that good to me. But I mean, well, like, she's not ugly. Tripping. I mean, I mean, of course she's not ugly. I'm just saying she definitely ain't banging enough to be doing all what he's doing. Like, come on. Oh, like, mm-hmm. yeah, good point. She, well, she, this song definitely caught the vibes of a lot of folks out there, man. Yeah. It it went to the top. It didn't hit number one, but it did peak at number three on Billboard Hot 100, man. And it did go certified gold. Um, so it definitely, it definitely it only did. went gold. Damn, it only man. went gold. Isn't that crazy? It's a, it's a good song, y'all. Yeah, it's a very good song, man. A very good song. Well, anyway, look, if anybody else has any other songs from Ambrosia, you know, we did The Biggest Part of Me, which uh, we all really love. How much oh, yeah. I feel is the next one. If there are other songs from Ambrosia or any other soft rock type groups, please let us know in the comments below. If you like this song, hit that like button. If you didn't like this song, Hit that like button, man. Help us go up in the rankings so more people can find us on this journey as we go to 50K. And other than that, man, I'm Corey Roy. That's Phenom202, Hollywood DA. Come here for the rock, pop, K-pop, soft rock. We all here with the Yacht Rock. And as always, we'll be back at you for another reaction. Peace. Yep, yep. That's how much I feel. Yeah, for you, baby. That shit is hot. I don't know what you're talking about, yo. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just like, I mean, this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this.